IST you know equivalent to 82 and half degree east. It is 10 am means at 82 and half this is 10 am. Hello everyone, I am Sanjeev Kumar, Faculty of Geography at Plutus IS. Today I bring another topic that is latitude and longitude, their application as well as daytime saving concept. So without wasting time, let's proceed with the latitude. What are the latitudes? Latitudes we can define just are the horizontal lines. These are imaginary horizontal lines that drawn over surface of earth. Now what was the requirement of these horizontal lines earlier? Earth consider just like a sphere, we did not have any kind of identification, we did not have landmark over it from moving one place to another place, then we did not get idea that in which direction we are moving, how far we have moved and how far we need to further move to reach particular place. Due to absence of these identification, due to absence of certain landmarks, Columbus or different other voyagers, travelers across the globe diverted from their original route and reached at different place. So, latitudes were drawn means these were the imaginary horizontal lines that drawn over surface of earth from equator 0 degree to 90 degree north and south. We know that this entire sphere can be covered by 360 degree. So, generally from 0 degree till 90 degree towards north and 0 degree to 90 degree towards south on one side, similarly consider just opposite side. In similar manner 90 degree from 0 degree from the equator towards north pole or from equator towards the south pole we can draw. So, if we calculated all 90 we have drawn in all the hemisphere means both the hemisphere on both the sides then it will be accumulated to 360 degree. To avoid any kind of confusion across the globe we have just marked from 0 degree to 90 degree towards north and towards south. We have not taken separately for opposite directions means all these circles whether this side or its opposite side, we are just marking as one standard latitude. Okay. So, now look at this. Consider that a watermelon, muskmelon or any hemisphere or any spher spheroid body which we have marked from midpoint that we considered as equator towards north 1, 2, 3, like all these imagery lines we have drawn means here 90 lines we have drawn till north pole. Similarly, we also draw towards the south pole. Here 0 degree latitude is the largest possible circle that can be drawn over the earth. We call it the great circle. As we move up or down from the 0 degree latitude, then we find that continuously the size or circumference of these horizon line continuously decreasing which reduce to just a single point at north pole and south pole. But all these imaginary lines, horizontal imaginary lines are parallel to each other. So, we can say all latitudes are parallel to each other. 
Further, we have drawn some special latitude as we know that earth axis is tilted at 23 and half degree from perpendicular to plane of orbit means this angle is 23 and half degree. So here what happens? At different different point of time, earth when rotates on its axis as well as revolve around the sun, then sun rays generally fall vertical from Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn. Means here we can identify apparently sun move, consider this is the equator position. So, apparently the sun's rays fall vertical from 23 and half degree south to 23 and half degree north. We know that here, suppose sun is here. So, sun's rays now falling vertically just overhead the equator. This is the equator position. So, this position of sun may be around 23rd March or around 23rd September. This time may vary near about 21st March to 23rd March or around 23rd September. Here, the sun's position likely to be just overhead of equator. While sun apparently move, technically sun is not moving, rather Due to revolution of earth, due to tilt of earth axis, means revolution along with tilt of earth axis, what happens at particular point of time, earth particular region receive direct sun rays. So, sun's position likely to be here in month of June, around 21st June, when sun receive just vertical when sun generally exert the vertical sun ray just over Tropic of Cancer. Here, Tropic of Cancer region inside the earth receive vertical sun rays in month of June. You also experience inside India, this Tropic of Cancer dividing India into just two equal halves. Means from Gujarat till Tripura, this Tropic of Cancer is passing through around eight states in India. So, at this time, sun rays are just overhead of Tropic of Cancer, while during December time period, sun's position is here around 22nd December, the sun's rays fall just overhead of Tropic of Capricorn. So, we can say that sun apparently moved from Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn. We can conclude here that generally, Sun rays fall vertical at least one time from Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn. Yeah, we can also say that sun rays experience vertically twice within Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn in a year. So, what this leading to? It is creating different zone of heat. Where sun rays falling more vertical from Tropic of Cancer to Tropic of Capricorn. So, this entire region is known as the Torrid Zone. We call it the Torrid Zone because here we experience maximum amount of temperature. Away from it, generally sun rays fall little bit more slanty in this region. So, that is why this region is known as the Temperate Zone. It is mainly because of tilt of earth's axis. Further, it is away from the equator. So, more slanty sun rays likely to be fall in these regions which are known as the temperate zone, the zone of moderate temperature. Now, away from Tropic of Cancer, Tropic of Capricorn, 
till tropic of uh, till arctic circle and antarctic circle arctic circle in the north this is 66 and half degree and south 66 and half degree south so what happen when sun is just located overhead of tropic of capricorn at this time period this arctic circle generally experience complete darkness means there is 24 hours night because the northern hemisphere generally tilted away from the sun rays while the southern hemisphere which is more tilted towards the sun rays generally experience 24 hours day so that's why we have characterized here we have characterized here arctic circle and antarctic circle so these regions generally do not experience up to around 6 month sunlight that's why they are known as the frigid zone these are known as the frigid zone so this is all about the latitudes now suppose that the same latitude which is passing through south america the same latitude which is passing through central america also passing through south africa so this 15 degree latitude whether this is the central american location or whether this is the south african location it create confusion suppose that both rajasthan and tripura or maybe west bengal are located over the around same latitude so drawing these horizontal imaginary lines did not resolve all such problem that we were looking for they partially resolved the problem of identification of creating certain landmark over the earth surface further we require some vertical lines as well so that grid like pattern likely to be develop over the earth surface for identification or for acknowledgement of at least certain identical place a landmark over the earth surface so this decision is very easy where should be the mid point of the earth if we talk about from northern region to southern region means just divide entire circumference or the radius or the diameter into two parts so you automatically get the identification or you automatically get the location where this mid of the earth existed but it become very difficult when you draw the vertical line suppose that if i have drawn within this hemisphere here the vertical line or if i draw here the vertical line like that so it will be very difficult where is the center just consider imagine there is a watermelon vertically where is the midpoint you can start from any position and each and every position is likely to go midpoint so it was great debate and discussion that what should be the prime meridian what should be the central position of earth vertically so there was a international conference of meridian international conference of meridian it took place in 1984 at the place of washington dc in usa
in this conference more than 25 nations sent their delegations or representatives which participated to identify where mid position vertically to be lie because it was necessary not only for drawing the perfect map not only for creating certain landmark over the earth surface but also more importantly for determining the calendar determining the time of each and every regions so that various business activities various economic activities can be conducted at appropriate time so there is requirement for some in international standard that what kind of meridian should be acknowledged and how time should be standardized so this international conference of meridian in 1984 decided that greenwich royal observatory greenwich royal observatory that is placed in london europe this greenwich royal observatory should be considered as the central point vertically for the earth surface now you may question that why this position was generally accepted as the midpoint of center of earth it was considered because to give sufficient acknowledgement honor respect for this greenwich observatory during 19th century although very poor rough map were created by greenwich observatory and certain other observatories which was used by vasco de gama which was used by columbus etc some of the popular voyagers some of the spanish voyagers then these voyagers generally found that this greenwich royal observatory were very popular for determining very accurate map very very accurate certain drawings ya identification or landmark over the earth surface these rough maps generally utilized by these traders or voyagers and these maps generally assist them to find their objectives just like at present harvard oxford and certain other international universities are very popular just like during ancient time period nalanda takshila all such universities were very popular similarly during 19th century royal observatory was very popular to give sufficient honor acceptance acknowledgement for this greenwich royal observatory it was decided that the imaginary line from north pole to south pole passing via london greenwich royal observatory will be considered as the prime meridian when we find the midpoint the central point now it become easy to mark all such meridians so since this being a sphere covered by 360 degree covered by 360 degree so at each and every degree there will be one longitude there will be one standard meridian so in this way we have drawn total 360 meridian means like this from 0 degree to 180 degree east and from 0 degree to 180 degree west what do you think 180 degree east and west are different prime meridian or these are the same meridian 180 degree east and west these seems to be the same if we look earth as being the sphere so you know that 0 degree the opposite to 0 degree is 180 degree whether you move in this way whether you move in this way it will be the same line but this 180 degree longitude is not 
very straight line it is not like other meridian rather it is a kind of zigzag why it is a zigzag line it is a zigzag line because the island countries which existed around the specific ocean have adjusted this line so that their time should not differ so all a smaller island countries ya states which existed in this region they generally follow the same time zone means they are either towards western side or towards eastern side of 180 degree longitude so here how many will be the total longitudes this is zero and till towards 180 degree east total 180 then zero to 180 degree west this will be 179 because technically 180 degree east and 180 degree west both are the same line if you look at globe then you have zero degree so total 360 longitudes we have drawn over the earth now how many will be the total latitudes horizontal line so one we have 0 degree from 0 degree towards top 90 degree means 0 to 90 degree north we have total 90 and from 0 degree to 90 degree south we have total 90 here and another is 10 degree so that is total 181 latitudes now since we have drawn horizontal line and vertical line so it is quite easy to determine to identify to pinpoint particular place at the earth and this is how the gps global positioning system work a target over a specific latitude a target over a specific longitude suppose that washington dc the latitude here is 39 degree north and 77 degree west longitude okay so in this way we can now mark any of the region now moving towards application of this longitude particularly so time standardization time standardization was one of the imminent requirement of that time which resolve by drawing these all meridian we know that sun rises towards the east and set towards the west and this earth rotating around its axis generally from west to east it is rotating from west to east so we know one rotation occur means 360 degree rotation occurs in 24 hours then here we can simply calculate it 15 degree rotation likely to be occur in just 1 hour 7 and 1/2 degree rotation likely to be occur in 30 minute and 1 degree rotation likely to be occur just in 4 minute so this is the typical calculation which we utilize in determining the standard time so each and every country generally adopted its standard time in multiplication of 7 and 1/2 7 and 1/2 meridian now look at longitudinal position of india so longitudinal position of india started around 68 degree 
सेवन मिनट ईस्ट टू नियर अबाउट नाइंटी सेवन डिग्री ट्वेंटी फाइव मिनट ईस्ट सो हाउ मेनी लॉन्गिट्यूड हेयर आर इन मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ सेवन एंड हाफ सो वी कैन सी दैट इज सिक्सटी सेवन एंड हाफ दिस सिक्सटी सेवन एंड हाफ जनरली लोकेटेड इन साइड द पाकिस्तान सो देर इज नो सेंस फॉर कंसिडरिंग इट एज ए स्टैंडर्ड टाइम मेरिडियन आफ्टर सिक्सटी सिक्स एंड हाफ यू हैव सेवेंटी फाइव सेवेंटी फाइव डिग्री which can be acknowledged as a standard time further you have here you have here 82 and half degree all these are inside east east of london greenwich observatory then in multiplication of 7 and half it will be 90 degree east longitude or it will be 97 and half degree each longitude which is located technically inside myanmar so there is no purpose so all both 67 and half 97 and half have been automatically excluded we left with only three choice that is 75 82 and half and 90 degree now automatically you notice that 82 and half this longitude is passing in mid of india yeah this should be considered as move perfect standard time so india consider its standard time june ya yeah, meridian 82 and half degree so this 82 and half we can write equivalent to 75 degree plus 7 and half which means 15 multiplied with 5 15 degree multiplied with 5 and 7 and half and we have already calculated within this previous slide 7 and half degree equivalent to 30 minute 1 degree 4 minute 15 degree 1 hour so technically we can say that here it is equivalent to 5 hour 30 minute because india is located towards eastern side from greenwich meridian from london so that's why our time is ahead 5 hour 30 minute our time is ahead 5 hour 30 minutes when you set your time inside the mobile inside the computer or electronic gadgets etc then generally you consider it 5 and half hour ahead from greenwich mean time similarly consider this question if it is 10 am ist then what would be the local time at silong 92 degree east longitude ist you know equivalent to 82 and half degree east it is 10 am means at 82 and half this is 10 am what will be the time here at 92 degree so you can write the difference you can calculate the difference between 82 and half and 92 degree so here difference will be 7 and half degree plus 2 degree it means 30 minute plus 4 multiplied with 2 minute 7 and half degree equivalent to 30 minute and 2 degree equivalent to 4 multiplied with 2 because 1 degree equivalent to 4 minute so we can say it is 38 minute means the time at 92 degree east longitude will be ahead around 38 degree uh, around 38 minute so it will be 10 hour 38 minute so from prime meridian 0 degree longitude from greenwich london when move towards east then we gain the time when we move towards west we lose the time 
similarly if you move suppose 180 degree then how much will be the time difference two birds west two birds east you can write 180 degree equivalent to 15 multiplied with 12 15 degree multiplied with 12 means it will be just 12 hours so 12 hour west 180 degree west time will be behind 12 hour 180 degree east it will be 12 hour ahead means when our traveler if we add on both 12 hour 12 hour so it will be 24 hours it means when a traveler likely to be cross this IDL international date line from west to east he will gains a day when a international traveler move across this 180 degree east to west then he lose a day so i hope this is quite clear to you today i am ending my discussion here further in next class probably daytime saving concept and some more applications of it we likely to be discussed okay thank you very much bye bye take care